hello guys welcome to my channel so today i talked about what i can do to help out test takers in ghana especially new out test takers in ghana who have no idea how to even register for the exams and let me give you a quick or a quick sorry a quick a quick <laughs> sorry let me give you a quick um intro to the ielts test so an ielts test first of all let me open my google okay so google let me search about ielts test and let me take you straight to british council ghana you see i said ghana so i'm actually typing ghana <laughs> Okay, so this is British Council. That's all. The GA take out the register. So this is British Council. All right, let me open their website. So you have the official British Council website here, and you have so many information here. And the most important thing you are looking for is taking or register for an out. So you have register for out now click on it then when you scroll down when you scroll sorry when you scroll down <laughs> you will be seeing all these options so it's either prepare for our book your test test date location fees our test blah 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 yeah 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 so let's look at this particular one book your our test at an official IELT test center click on it and since it's the Ghana website you see Mm -hmm. so this is what you'll be getting here so British Council in Ghana offers IELTS academic training UK visas which is the UK VI test so when you scroll down you'll be seeing these price lists I know it's huge but anyway these price lists you see are not static like they keep changing because of the exchange rate so one tip you guys should keep or you should, I'm giving you is that when you see the price today and maybe you are like okay i want to write the test maybe in july so i realized well academic out paper test is 1870 ghana cities so let me just save 1870 ghana cities and when it's time for me to register maybe in july then i'll just go back and register please when you go back and you realize the price has increased please don't blame anybody because they go with the exchange rate so uh, you know our situation here in ghana i mean the dollar cd pounds rates it keeps changing every every single day so this is the official price we have as of today and today's date is 22nd february 2022 the 2222 day so if you go tomorrow and it's different please don't worry or don't feel like oh what's happening it's the exchange rate so we just keep praying the rate will rather drop instead of increase all right so that's just by the way so let's say you want to take an academic out and for all you newbies who have no idea what they're out tested or you don't even know which test you should take so for example if you're trying to study abroad let's say in usa canada uk australia or any in the any international english speaking country or any country as a matter of fact and if the school or in the institution you are trying to enroll in or trying to apply to requires you to write an out you need to write an academic out or unless the school tells you okay there's a different out you have to take other than that, you are supposed to take an official IELTS test, which is the academic test. So that's for educational purposes. But if you are someone, and that's for also the graduate, bachelor's, and high ups, I mean, PhD, master's, all the high ups, yeah, the, those requirements. But if you are trying to, let's say, use your IELTS for immigration purposes, or you are even using it for work, Sometimes, you know, you have some recruitment fans for teachers, blah, blah, blah. And they just require you to have an out for your immigration purposes. Then you can opt for the general out test. Okay. But then if you are trying to immigrate straight, like directly into UK, specifically to live, work there. And also you are a health worker, maybe a nurse or a doctor, then please. 
I know there are so many other exams you take. I'm not a health professional or a health practitioner here in Ghana. And there are so many different tests I know you guys take. But if you are writing or if you are required to write the IELTS, please find out the specific IELTS test you need. Because I know so many people who wrote academic IELTS and use it to apply for work maybe in the UK or something. And I know others who used the UK VI out. Okay, so you realize there's a slight difference in the prices because, yeah, UK visas and immigration, either academic or general, is the most expensive one here in Ghana. And it's always the most expensive one. So if you want to do the paper one or the computer delivered one, you the price is 2,000 Ghana cities. And the normal academic and general out is 1,870. And yeah, the other categories, you have out life skills. That is for A1 and B1. I've taught A1 and B1 before, but mostly it's just random. I only taught once in the whole of two, 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 I think for the past two years. Yeah, I've never taught anyone again. But yeah, that's the, at least the most, the, I would say the, the cheapest one, not the cheapest, but at least compared to the other prizes, that one is way, you know, reasonable and you can also write it in abidjan if you are in abidjan or if you're in Ghana and you are in abidjan you can just register so the first thing you need to do is know what test you are trying to take if it's academic just book now if it's general select it and please find out the required test um, I keep repeating this because I know there are so many institutions abroad. They'll tell if it's about oh, just write an IELTS test for just English proficiency. You can even try out or even TOEFL. It doesn't even matter. But if you are trying out, because I'm specifically talking about the IELTS test. So if it's IELTS that you are trying to register, find out the type of IELTS test you are trying to, register, especially for my nurses, doctors, you know, the health professionals. Get to know before you register. So if it's as academic and you want to do the paper one, just click on the book now. And as you see, they'll give you a special, since you're in Ghana, I mean, this is British Council Ghana website, so you don't expect to see British Council UK or Nigeria here. So you have to search for the city. So if I'm in Kumase, you can only write it in the Accra Kumase, and now there's Tamale. Before it was only Accra and Kumase. So if I'm in Tamale, Click on Tamale. And also, you need to read this. So read about how we can help you. So have accessibility needs for tests. So let me just click on it. Um, mostly, if you need, um, let's say if you have special needs, like if you are blind, if you are deaf, or if you are like you are disabled and you need special assistance before you can actually take the test, then you can click on these things and they'll give you enough um information in the process you can go through for you to be able to have an easier test because they are not discriminative people or they are very considerate so they don't like to treat or sideline any other person with disability okay so going back since i don't have or i don't need any of these and i will not click on this but let's see if i click on this so let's say if you have any of these needs you can just click on it or yeah but since we don't need it for us i'll just leave it there so are you trying to take out paper test or out computer at the test center or you, you don't mind so you, you, you if you don't mind that means you don't care whether you are giving paper or computer but you're just trying to register and you just go your way but if you're like me and you know your specifications just click on what you are interested in and mind you if you write a paper test you see results in 13 days and if you write the computer test, it's in five to or three days, five three to five days, sorry. So let's say you are taking a paper test. So you have to choose um your date. But the only thing I'll tell you is that the only highlighted, but the ones underlined and highlighted are the only available dates there. So you see 19th March, then in April, you see 30th April. Then you go to May, there's 21st. But if you don't like this, just go to search for tests. Okay. So you can sort the dates from or anything. But anyway, let's look at the dates we have. So you have 19th March. And one thing about the L test is that you don't do all the tests in one day. Because it's a, it's a communication test. So your speaking test is mostly either before or after 
your written ones so you with this one you can clearly see that we have 16th march 2022 and 19th march so the 16th march march is your speaking test date so if you want to change your test you can just change the time um you can decide which time works for you you can just look at the multiple i mean there are so many that you can start from early in the morning through to maybe the time they close like 4 p.m so if you want 10 40 11 and one thing you know is don't pick a time and get there late because yeah that would be one of the reasons why you'll be failing please don't do that so pick a time that is convenient for you so let's say i chose 12 40 to 1 p.m they have to book the out test so you can come here they'll tell you so continue with this booking you need an identification document that was the first thing i mentioned and make sure you have a photocopy or a photo of the identification document at hand as you will need to upload this yes i even forgot to mention it actually when you're registering you should have either a f like what they are saying a photograph copy of your identity card if it's your passport if you have scanned your identity card then you don't have any issue with this step and also if you try to do the online payment most likely don't do the online payment because <laughs> obviously in ghana online payments are kind of a hassle so if you try to do the online payment make sure you have your debit or credit card and make sure the amount in there is up to the amount they are taking from you because if you try to register in the, the amount in your account or the card does not meet you might not be able to pursue the registration and maybe continue another day but anyway when you start registering your all your data will be saved on the website and you have like two or is it two to three days yeah for you to complete the payment okay so you realize that now the next step you need to do is if you have an account or if you've registered before you can easily log in with your email then your password but if you don't if you don't please you need to you know insert or try to log in so let's see we don't have an account and we try to log in so you, you use your email address so let me use an email address um okay then the password well I, I don't want you guys to see the password so um let's see um, okay so let's log in and see you see since i don't have an account there they told me the username and password combination is not valid yeah because i don't have any account there so the best thing you need to do is try to create an account then you can go ahead with the booking okay that becomes easy and convenient for you so when you when you are done with all these things the best thing you need to do is um after selecting the date then you just you just type in your email and then your password look at the recommendation for the password so your password should be eight or more characters and it needs to meet three of the following requirements lowercase letters, uppercase letters, at least one number, at least one special character, blah, blah, blah. So mostly for my students, when I'm trying to register for them and if they don't have any account there, the best thing I do is if, let's say they are called um, Abby girl. So I make Abby or let's, let me capitalize on the A. So Abby at 2022. You see, it's a very strong password. So if it's for you, you click it. Also, the, the, the one thing you should know is that you cannot book a test for a child under the age of 11. If your child is 18 or over, please ask them to register for themselves. So you don't register for anybody. Then you go ahead with your first name. Let's see. Okay, let me use my wrong name. And this is not even my first name. So yeah, let me just use it. And your surname is okay then your date of birth so the day 
then you choose the month then the year maybe you were born in 1997 if you're male or female then you add your contact information yeah these are just random numbers i'm typing so you need your postal address so let's say edum kumasi yeah that's the city so kumasi if you don't know the postal code don't worry but it's always zero zero two three three or something oh, i've forgotten like you can just leave it blank <laughs> so your marketing so this is one thing you should know your marketing preference i'm happy to receive updates so if you want them to keep sending you emails or spamming you with emails about um their product services you just click on what you need so please not send me any marketing option yeah if you are like me or if you are like my sister who doesn't want these spams in her email just click on it. but if you want these things just click on it. they'll keep sending them to you okay so you have a great if you know you don't understand anything please open the terms and conditions before you sign up for this and you know it's a long thing you have to read every single thing so one thing you should know is that yeah you accept privacy blah 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 all that they are trying to tell you there are so many laws governing so if you understand just click on it save and continue oops so why didn't i feel oh okay so i didn't feel this but has too much example okay you see you see i'm not even done registering yet but they've sent me an email you see that so now i'm logged in even though i use a fake account i don't even remember the password i use so so i will not i will not even be able to go back in again so let's see so this is ghana this is a doom yeah um, the number i even use is confusing what did i even use <laughs> it's funny okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine three okay and that's it so yeah now i get it so it should be the plus two three three yeah you should enter the country code first instead of just making it zero two something something so plus two three three now let me cancel the zero well wow, this is going to be a long long video yeah let me just type random numbers okay so save and continue so now i'm logged in actually i'm using <laughs> you know i'm actually making this video to show you how to register so yeah um now like i said it's either use the camera card or a passport so whichever identification you have just enter so if it's the passport you enter your passport number your document expiring date you choose the month it will expire in the year issuing authority but that is what's in a car it's always on the passport or on that um identification card you're using so don't worry about this information you just look on your identification card and you'll be able to see and your nationality yes so you just choose you see there's a session where you have to upload your identification card so if it's the ghana card you just have to upload it so you just take the information on there if it's a passport then you just upload the bio data information on it if it's the ghana card just take a picture or you can just scan either way it's acceptable just scan the bio information on the identification card and you are good to go okay i don't know if i'll be able to continue since i've not done any of these things and let me just try and type anything so g s four no let me type random numbers so day 12 march this is 2025 i know i'm lying it's accra then we just choose a file actually even if you don't upload the file now you can do it later on so let's see if it's possible Mm, so this is a required field so we're gonna have to fill all the required fields then yeah so i thought i can bypass this part but it seems you don't have an option so choose take a photo <laughs> so 
So use this photo. Okay. You know, I'm just messing with you guys because I'm not actually registering for an out test. But this is a very fun thing to do. But I don't advise anybody to go on their website and try to fill fake information on it because uh, why would you even do that? You see, they're trying to capture my information and it's my hand too. <laughs> now it seems it's working. So guys, please forgive me for doing this. You can choose the, you know, the... If you if you if you upload the first part and it, it doesn't even look good, you can remove it and add a different one. So let's save and continue. So your proof answering this question has no impact on your alt test. Okay, so this is what they keep asking you every single year. They'll be asking you all these questions. So your first language, um, they I have a can here. So but most likely choose English. Yeah, I mean I can't my first language. So let me just stick to a can. So I can, yeah. And so how many years have you been studying English? So you can just take the highest figure there. So plus nine. And what's the level of education? This one depends on you. So if it's a degree, postgraduate, this, this, you just, you just choose it. Yeah. Uh, your occupation level. Maybe you are a student, home worker, you just take it. So I'm a student, so I'll just take a student occupation sector i mean just choose it banking finance whichever 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 education okay why are you taking the test so this is where you just select is it for immigration for you see registration as a nurse including cgfns registration as a dentist you see profit for personal reasons employment so whichever reason any education like just select the reason why you are doing the test so let's say for immigration Every country do you want to study? So you just choose. Maybe it's in the USA, in the UK, or Canada. It's supposed to be a Britain here. So Britain. Wait, there's no Britain, and there's no UK. So United. Okay, I'm supposed to. Wow, I'm not even supposed to use UK. I'm supposed to type the full name. So let's say Canada. I uh, yeah for Canada. So save and continue. So your written test. So Tamale Industrial Lucian. Sorry, I, I don't want to meddle the name. So this is the test details. So the registration details of my test rather. So I have my listening, reading, writing at 7 30. Please arrive at 7 30. You see? I'm supposed to start at 9 and everybody knows the time that they give to you is not the same time you're supposed to go. I mean, you'll be late. And please, if you are late, you'll be shocked. No one will even have mercy on you. Trust me. So your speaking test date is on 16th March. And you see, it's 12.20, but you're advised to arrive at 11.50. I mean, it's general etiquette. I mean, everywhere you go, even if you're giving six, you're supposed to go there like... An hour, an hour and a half in earlier, yeah. So this is sample a sample of my registration details. Yeah, since this is a fake one, I don't want to continue with this. So I'll just I I don't know why I use this number. Yeah, I don't want that person to receive any of these things. So this is just for you to know how the registration is like. So. It, out of acknowledgement, this is a very important part. So, if you are registering for another person, a company, yeah, if you are registering, I mean, always choose yourself, then everything becomes easier. Um, so book and pay now, and book now and pay later. So, you can actually do these things book now and pay now, and book and pay now. I don't want to click on book and pay now because. But for let me show you how it is. I mean, it's not like I'm going to pay, so let me just show you. And even if I'm not supposed, even if I don't, even if I don't, um, let me just save this because I don't want to forget my pass, my password. A three G zero zero seven three blah blah blah. So you see, this is how having trouble blah 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 phone number blah blah blah. Okay, so continue. So Sebit, I don't use this, so I cannot pay. So let me just go back and you see I've booked an out test.